Hey guys, what's going on? I'm bringing you episode 40 now of my Oakwood Raiders franchise mode here on Madden 15. And we are without Derek Carr this episode with a broken thumb. Uh, but he will return next week. So Matt Castle will be our starting quarterback. And we're taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who are without Gerald McCoy with a broken femur. Out for three weeks. And that's pretty big because he's a 99 overall. And I'm doing this right after the 76ers GMO commentary episode 10. So I... Will still sound uh, a little bit sick in this episode, so that's if uh, you hear my voice sounding a little bit different. But we are here in the Oak Coke Coliseum in week three. We are one and one on here. We're going to go two and one. And we're going to start off big here with a Dree Archer return crossing midfield out to the 49. So one yard cross midfield as Matt Castle is going to set up this Oakland Raiders offense. He's going to give it a joint bell. He's going to pick up a gain of seven. And now, second and two now. Play action. Castle is going deep to the end zone already, and it's caught by Marcus Whedon. Matt Castle showing off early, and Marcus Whedon's going to catch the deep ball, and that's going to give us an early 7 0 lead. And let's see how Mike Glennon, who's uh, progressed to an 88 overall, and he's thrown uh, 520 yards in two games. So he's had a pretty good season so far. Second and two for the Buccaneers. Uh, uh, the Bucks are going to find. Uh, Brent Selleck, the former Eagles tight end, and now first and ten. Here's the muscle hamster, Tug Martin, who somehow also progressed into a 96 overall. So we're going to have to stop this high-powered Buccaneers offense. And if you think that was enough, Mike Evans and Vincent Jackson are both 93 overalls. So that's going to be extremely tough to stop this offense today. So here's first and ten, head up to Doug Martin. But our defense is having none of that. Kuka Maiva and I believe Terrell Brown on that tackle. But somehow... The rookie wide receiver Ramsey was wide open in the middle of the field. It gets a huge gain. A gain of about 60 yards as it's now on the second goal from the three. Doug Martin in motion for Glennon. And Glennon's going to throw a quick pass right to Mike Evans to tie this game up at seven. So our defense just gave up a huge play and then gave up a touchdown. So let's see how Matt Castle can respond. Second and 12 here from the 19. Castle, he's lobbing this one up. And Justin Blackman was wide open. A great throw by uh, Castle and a great release by Blackman. Now, third and 10. Here's Castle. That should have been picked off. And uh, we're, uh, we're going to punt it away, but we're going to get it back. Here's Joy Bell on the handoff. Gets a gain of six. And now we have a second and four from the 26. Here's Matt Castle. He had five wide, and he is going to throw a terrible pass over through Jeremy Macklin, and it's picked off by Mark Barron, and that's the first mistake for the Oakland Raiders today, and we just can't make those mistakes against one of the best offenses in the NFL in this franchise mode. So first and 10 for Glennon, but Glennon is going to give it right back to the Raiders to Norris Jenkins with the interception. And actually, believe it or not, those were the only two turnovers that came today. And they were back-to-back -back in the first quarter. So here's a screen point on third and seven. Joy Bell's going to get a huge gain going from the 34 to the 38. And Matt Castle has 102 yards and only four completions. So he's averaging about over uh, about 25 yards a completion. So here's second and one now for uh, Castle. He's going to find Jeremy Macklin on the slant route. Who's going to pick up the first down? That's how we're going to end the first quarter. Very next play to start off the second quarter. Head off to Joyke Bell. And Joyke Bell is into the end zone for a touchdown. And that's going to give the Oakland Raiders a 14-7 lead here in the second quarter. So let's see how Mike Glennon and the Bucks can respond. Doug Martin on the handoff. And he's going to be brought down by our former first round pick, Ronald Fairley. Who had a, a game high, I think, 11 tackles today. So a first and ten. Here's Glennon in the pocket. He's going to scramble and only get one yard out of that. Khalil back with the tackle from behind. And we would force a punt away. So here's first and ten. From the 32, Castle's going to fight Jeremy back on four. A gain of six. That's second and four. Castle finds Joyke Bell on the right side. And he's going to pick up a first down as well. First and ten now. Here's Joyke Bell. And Joyke Bell is gone. Joyke Bell with a 55-yard touchdown run as now we're up 21-7. And Joyke Bell is just having another great year after the year he had last year. And the trade that we made, trading a second-round pick and Maurice showed through for Joyke Bell. It's looking like a steal for us. So we are second and two for Glennon. He's going to find John Carlson, the backup tight end, wide open somehow in the middle of the field or towards the right end. 
But uh, nonetheless, first and ten. Here's Glennon, and here's the first sack of the day. It's gonna come by Khalil Mack. Nobody but who else? Khalil Mack. He's just a sack machine. Now this should have been picked off by Jimmy Smith, but it is batted down. But nonetheless, we were just gonna punt away. Third and seven, Marcus Weeded will not be able to hold on to that ball, so we're going to give it right back, but we're going to get it again, and Matt Castle had two people wide open there, but the pressure came too much, and he would be forced to a third and ten. Joy Bell on the screenplay, only gets a gain of three, and we're going to have to punt it to the Bucks. So here's second and eight for Glennon and the Bucks. Another pass play. You can see they're going pass heavy this game. And Glennon did have 53 pass attempts in this game. So they're a pass heavy offense. As another pass play is caught by Brett Selleck for a gain of about eight yards. Now next play, second and two from the 25. Here's Glenn. He's going to drop back to throw. Pressure's coming. He's going to get that off to Andre Roberts and DJ Hayden. Could not make the tackle. As a uh, minute and 20 left to go here in the second. Glennon's going to find Ramsey, who's going to be uh, run out of bounds at the one. And very next point, first to go from the one. Glennon's going to give it to Doug Martin, and he's going to pick up the touchdown. So uh, the lead's cut to now 21 to 14. As we got a minute left, and why not? Castle going deep to Marcus Whedon, and it is caught. Just great connection between the two as another deep ball is called by Marcus Whedon. But. Third and goal from the six. We would not be able to get anything out of it as Justin Blackman is going nowhere on that uh, bubble screen. As we're going to head into the second half now, up by 10 as we were able to tackle on a Josh Scobie field goal. Here's a screen point to Doug Martin who's going to pick up a first down and a gain of seven yards. So here's a third and six from the 37. Go ahead and quick throw to Doug Martin, who's going to get hit hard by Khalil Mack, and that's a punt away. So we have a chance to improve our lead. Second and six for Castle. He's going to roll to the right. He's got Marcus Weeded on the sideline for a gain of 16 yards. And now it's first and 10 from the 40. A quick screen pass here to Justin Blackman, who had a huge day today. The leading reception uh, leader on this team and reception yards, believe it or not, even though Marcus Weed had those two deep bombs. Second of three here, Mark, uh, Jeremy Macklin's going to catch the pass over the middle. And Castle has been playing great so far. We haven't seen this out of Derek Carr this year. Matt Castle is outplaying Derek Carr, and he's about 15 years older than him, which is pretty insane. But this is coming to show that I might look for a quarterback soon, either via trade this year or... Or in the offseason. But we're up by 13 here. Here's 3rd and 7. Glennon is hit from behind by C.O. Moore. And that pass is incomplete. So we're up by 13. Here's a handoff by Joy Bell. And Joy Bell has 146 yards on 19 carries. He is beasting today. And here we go. 2nd and 4. Castle finds Justin Blackburn. Who is gone. A 59 yard touchdown reception for Blackman. And that's going to improve our lead. We're actually going to go for two here, but not get it on the head of two Pierre Thomas, as it's going to be 33 to 14. But this offense was clicking on all cylinders today, as Castle played great, Blackman played great, Whedon played great, Macklin played great, uh, Joy Pell played amazing. The offensive line was good, but the defense was a little bit shaky this game. Jericho Cotri, the former Oakland Raider, who we did sign late in the year last year when Jerry Macklin did go down with an injury, we did not bring him back, but he was scooped up by the Bucks. So here's a third and two pass to Mike Evans, who's going to pick up the first down. And you can see Glennon has 282 yards here. And now they're going back to the screen game. Doug Martin here, and Doug Martin has space. He is brought down by Tyvon Branch at the 13, and that puts Glennon over the 300-yard mark passing-wise. First and 10 from the 13. Glennon finds Jericho Cotri, the former Oakwood Raiders, is going to pick up the touchdown here to uh, decrease the def uh, deficit. 33-21, to 21, so we're up by 12, a two-possession game. Uh, a def Oakland Raiders defender whiffs on that tackle right there as Vincent Jackson is going to get a huge gain. Now out to the 42. Here's Brent Selleck uh, going to pick up the touchdown. I guess I uh, forgot to show the touchdown. So now it's 28-40. to 40. Uh, Skipped a little bit in head here as it was 33-21. to 21. So both teams were able to score a touchdown. As you can see, Glennon has 440 yards. Now here's Justin Blackman. Pretty much going to pick up the dagger if they were converting on 4th and inches. And that's it for the game. We win 40-28. to A great outing by Matt Castle and the Raiders offense. The defense, pass defense especially, was a little bit shaky in this game. But nonetheless, we do pull out with the victory. You can see 
Matt Castle, 376 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Joy Bell had three rushing touchdowns on 210 yards. An insane performance out of him. And you can see Justin Blackman in a second was the leading receiver, 188, uh, 89 yards. So that was it for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed episode 40 of the Oakland Raiders franchise mode here on Madden 15. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.